Welcome to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a few minutes before the show airs. Two minutes, to be specific. So, I'm not going to get too far into the program for another two minutes. Out of respect to those who might have gone to get some food, for example. Or who are driving home from work as fast as they can and they have not arrived. So... By the time I finished bloviating and wasting valuable time, it will be seven. So my strategy at the moment is to just sort of talk ad nauseum like I am in some sort of knowledgeable manner until it hits seven o'clock p.m. Pacific time, which, as we all know, is the uh, start of the show, so that those who are on their way can have time to get here and sit down and that they don't miss any part of the program <laughs> that would interest them, such as the snipping, of the cigar, and the pouring of the scotch, and the snapping of the suspenders, and the tipping of the cap. These are things I do not wish anybody to miss. So, for the meantime, at the now, and in perpetuity, until forthwith one finds his destiny, Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 146, I think. I am your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn, here as always with his suspenders set to Maximum Stun. We have a great show for you today. I've got some fun announcements. I've got a fun cigar. I've got ice cubes in my scotch glass. Why am I not using whiskey stones, you might ask. We will get to that. Hearthstone update. They just updated the client and they should, should, emphasis on the word should, in quotes, have fixed the, the logout slash crashing bug that has been plaguing us, as you fine viewers know. Nux Arcana says four, uh, two, four, six. Is it two, four, six? Okay, okay, good. I'm glad I said it right. I, I get confused. My, the time just goes over my head. I don't know, I don't know what week it is. And we've been doing this for way, way too long. Uh, and there is no such thing, a, a thing as too long. It just gets epicer and more epic. Sensana says, I am conflicted. I have three of a card, two gold, and one reg regular. Pleasure to have you here, Sensuan84. Uh, I don't know how to help you with your confliction. Perhaps. Oh, and, and then he continues, am I weird for wanting dis to disenchant one for the gold for dust and profit? No, no. The card functions just like a regular card, right? Which is why we get many of the same type. And that's the point. If you get a gold card for something that's rather common, it's okay to disenchant it because it's there for the gold. Gentleman Badger is in the cha chat. He says, prepare for scotch, prepare for cigars. Indeed, good sir. William Moore is here. He says, hail, hail, good oxhorn, sir. I hope your mustache has not been burned nor your whiskey shelf run dry. Indeed not, my mustache is in all its glory. Uh, and my whiskey is doing well. I'm almost done with the scotch bottle. Been working on it for a few weeks. Definitely have enough for the show today, so it is uh, not gone. All right, so people on, on scotchandsmokerings.com are flipping out yet again. Shwarma says, fix the darn award. It's a genuine award, <laughs> says Gentleman Badger. Tilt, 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 says Baldox. OCD YouTube button says Bearded Warrior. Pleasure to have a fellow bearded gentleman in the house today. Um, oh, Autumn, thank you so much for reminding me. She says, did you get my voicemail? And yes, I did. I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to pull the voicemails up here while I'm chatting and wasting time uh, because I don't want to forget about the voicemails. So I'm going to get them up. There we go. <laughs> uh, well, I'll put that to the side. We'll go through the voicemails in a second. Anyway, everybody seems, uh, Dragon Exile says, leave it, leave it. What are you talking about? What's crooked? What in this room, left or right, is crooked? I can't see a thing. Are my glasses crooked? There. Is that what you were talking about? 
Yeah? Okay. Hello, sexy man, says Fedafar. Where? What? I don't know what you're talking about. He must have uh, ran, it, ran out the door or something. Um... Nox Karna says, I don't have OCD. It's like CDO, but in the right order. <laughs> Gosh, very clever, my friend. Very clever. Uh, Nox Karna says, your YouTube button. Okay, Thomas Wynn says, back to your left ox on the wall. There's a YouTube button on my wall? Back to my left? I'm looking at the wall, and there's a curtain on the wall because it's a window. Yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of crooked thing on the wall that way. I just don't know what you guys are talking about. I, I hate to be unhelpful. That's not my intention. So you're just going to have to keep talking to me and let me know. Give me direction, and I will do my best to help those with OCD in the chat today. It is certainly not my intention to troll. <clears throat> All right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pour the scotch. Let's light up a gentlemanly smoke. And continue with today's fair program. <laughs> Let's, so this has melted a little bit. There's a little bit of ice. There's a little bit of ice in here. I'm going to drain it a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Shwarma says, do you really want me to be showing up with the level? Shwarma, you, I, I'm, I'm lucky that you haven't seen my house. Because this entire house is on level. You should see my door. I I put my baby gate to keep my boy inside this house in the door frame of our front door, and it won't actually touch the sides of the frame because the door frame is so skewed. The top one will touch one end, and maybe the bottom one will touch the other end, but then it swivels because the door frame is so askew. If you place a ball on one wall of my living room, which is a hardwood floor, and let go, it rolls to the other side. My entire house is off kilter. So the fact that there might be something in this room that I do not know what is, what it might be, by the way, yet, uh, that is tilted slightly, it's... Yeah, I know what it is. It's my suspenders. Hold on. This one is a little lower than that one. Okay, I know. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna take care of it for you. There we go. Hold on. There. They're the same. Le they're on a level field. Look at that. Okay. All right, there we go. I fixed the issue. People don't need to rage anymore. Everything is symmetrical and even in this fine house of scotch. So, uh, as I was saying, I went to a whiskey tasting a few, uh, last week. And my... <laughs> Thomas Wynn says, now I'm noticing that in all caps. They're, they're, they're completely even. It's all right, my friend. We, look, it, just don't look at my face either, because look at my glasses. The round of this one is significantly lower on my eyebrow than the round of this one. And you've never noticed that before until I just said it. I guarantee it. But that's just the way my ears sit, right? My glasses are completely fine. But look, it's just, it's slightly off. And now that will drive you crazy for the next hour. I'm so happy. Right, well, anyway, we got to continue here, ladies and gentlemen. I went to a whiskey tasting and... <clears throat> um, I learned from some from some whiskey experts about whiskey stones. So for those of you who have been longtime viewers of this program, uh, you're going to know that, whiskey, that you're going to have seen me using whiskey stones. And uh, I, I usually talk about how much I like them, and then I tell them... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm having a good time watching the chat. <laughs> some of you are really freaking out about the symmetry. But um, I've noticed that this, the whiskey stones don't chill the scotch all the way. They just kind of give it a very mild cooling sensation. And so I actually stopped using them for that reason. So we went. I went to this whiskey tasting and the guy has got these great ice cube molds that uh, put ice cubes in the shape of a very round bullet. And he explains to me why ice keeps scotch colder. And that's because it's not the temperature of the item that you put in the scotch that chills the scotch. It's the chemical reaction between the alcohol and the water as the ice melts that causes the entire scotch to cool down. So I could put in an incredibly cold block of stone into my glass and it's only going to chill the scotch, but put in one lightly iced piece of ice and it's going to chill your scotch uh, until it's very satisfying. So 
That's something I learned. Uh, happy to pass on knowledge to you, ladies and gentlemen. Noxicarna says, were you using soapstone or metallic whiskey stones? I was using soapstone. And that might be might be a reason why they, they weren't that, that it, it wasn't that chilled. Uh, I can imagine how metallic whiskey stones would chill the scotch faster, but the, the simple fact is that the chemical reaction between melting ice and scotch makes the scotch cool almost instantly. The Twitch TV chat, they don't understand the angst of the live stream chat. I've got two chats up for those who don't know. I've got the Twitch fellows and I've got the Scotch and Smoke Rings fellows. So it's it's interesting seeing the two chat dynamics. Um, how are you doing today, good Sir Oxhorn? Asks Nate the Great AZ. Uh, great question. I, I had a, a, an old elementary school friend who had your name. We all called him Nate the Great. Uh, I'm doing very well. I've had a good day today, a very productive day. My beautiful wife just cooked me a nice big pasta and meat sauce dinner. I'm about to sit down uh, to a gentlemanly cigar and a fine game of Hearthstone with some of my friends, so I'm having a great time. While I'm cutting and uh, setting on fire my new cigar, I'm going to tell you a little bit about a new game that Blizzard is in the process of making and that I may or may not have access to. Hold on a second. <sighs> there we go. Uh, today I am smoking a Perdomo Habano um, tra Tabacella Perdomo. I don't know. I, I can't tell what it's called. Habana, of course, refers to Havana, so it's a Cuban seed wrapper cigar. It's not a Cuban cigar. It wasn't made in Cuba. It was probably made in Nicaragua, but the plant was grown from seeds that came from the Cuban variety of tobacco. So it's a Cuban seed cigar. And I paid about $9 for this, so it's no cheapy. And that's one thing that I'm trying to shoot for here on scotchandsmokerings.com. And I'm going to get away from the cheaper to mid-tier of cigars, and I'm going to try and get at least one nice one each week so that I can share it with you fine ladies and gentlemen. Of course, fans who purchase cigars from me are more than welcome to contribute to this investment that I'm making so that I can write off cigars as a tax-deductible donation or business expense. That, that, of course, would be my dream. That's what I'm working on today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, all right, anyway, so... Lepidus says, back had pasta, I too had pasta, and it was delicious. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about this new game. I, and I didn't know a whole lot about it, so afterwards you can Google the name of the game to find a, an interesting trailer about it. But Blizzard is working on a game called Heroes of the Storm. Taking a look at the game, Heroes of the Storm, it looks a lot like... Uh, League of Legends in terms of gameplay. However, instead of using the League of Legends heroes, you are using the Blizzard World of Warcraft uh, characters like Illidan and Arthas and all of those great guys and so forth. Well, I got an email from um, my friends at Blizzard today and they said, would you like access to the alpha version of the game? And I, of course, said yes. So, uh, once I gain access to the alpha version of the game, I Sorry, I got distracted by a piece of falling ash that had a strange shape. Anyway, yes, I, I got distracted easily. Anyway, once I have access to the alpha, I'll be sure to let you all know, and I'll stream myself playing the game and doing a number of different things like creating the character or 
augmenting the character, because I guess you can't create characters. The, all the characters are preset. But uh, I, I want to be able to introduce you guys to the game and show you all the aspects of it so that we can explore it together. Um, I think that'll be a lot of fun. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I'm at facebook.com slash oxhorn, uh, twitter.com slash oxhorn, uh, and, I will, and uh, I will be sure to let you all know on Facebook or Twitter when I have access. All right. Now, many of you, especially the Twitch folk, are eager to see me play Hearthstone because you want to play with me. And I will. That's why I'm here. I've got Hearthstone fired up in the background. I just installed an update. We're ready to play. But this is a broadcast, and uh, part of a broadcast is to do your due diligence in entertainment. And so I am, of course, going to get through the entertainment aspects of the program before we get to the gameplay and... Okay, move my ashtray. And that involves, one, showing off your fan art, because you, ladies and gentlemen, are very talented, creative individuals, and I want to applaud you, so I'm going to show off your fan art. And two, listening to your voicemail messages. That's right, for those who have not watched the program in a while, I'm experimenting with a new segment of the show ca uh, called Voicemail Messages. If you go to scotchandsmokerings.com, you will see a little button on the site that says leave a message. From that button, you can record a very short message to me. And uh, when I get it, I will do my very best to play it for you. So, let's, uh, I announced it last week and uh, I've gotten a few messages from you fine folk. And I'm going to fire some up and let's take a listen to them. Uh, what's going to be interesting about this is many of you are going to be hearing your fellow viewers of this program for the very first time. I know it was interesting to me. So, questions and answers from fans. These are, think of it as call-in radio. I'm hosting a radio program and I'm talking about politics and Obamacare and blah, 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 blah. Now is the segment where the fans or the viewers can call in and voice their opinion. And so here we go. First on the list is our very own Ghoulbreath. Ghoulbreath, thanks for calling into the program. What would you like to say today? Bacon. All right. That is an admirable thing to say to contribute to the fine program. I can think of nothing better than a nice, healthy bacon uh, when wanting to share with your friends. So, kudos to you. Thank you for your contribution. Next up, next on the line is Shwarma. Shwarma, good to have you call into the program. What would you like to say today? Mr. Dennis, this is Shwarma. Did you really write a book? Oh my goodness, it's... Darth Shwarma! <laughs> it's, it's the Dark Shwarma! Uh, he, uh, it's his doppelganger, the evil version that shows up on the Twitch TV chat. <laughs> Apparently. Nice voice there, Shwarma. Good to hear from you. Um, yes. Yes, I really did write a book. It's called The Tale of Chloron Hastings. And it's over here. Uh, but I can't reach for it because I've got short arms. I'm like a little T-Rex over here and I just can't get it. So, yes, The Tale of Chloron Hastings. I really did write a book, ladies and gentlemen. It's a young adult fantasy swashbuckling sea adventure that I think will entertain people of all ages. Chloronhastings.com. It's available on Amazon. It's available on um, Barnes & Noble and any other number of places. All right, we have a few more people on the line. El Toro Guaco, thanks for calling into the program. What have you to say to the fellow fans today? I own Taylor Cloran Hastings myself. Yeah. And now I wonder, is there a chance we'll be making a third? And if so, could you tell us something about what you got in mind? And a sequel to Cloran Hastings, maybe? Maybe. So, that's my boy. Little Gavin. He's, he's just finished eating dinner. And he's going to be getting a bath soon. So he is just bouncing off the walls. So El Toro Guaco, thank you very much for the question. In short... 
to those who couldn't hear him, he said, um, "We know that you. Uh, I, we know that you wrote two books, The Tale of Florin Hastings and Era One. Is there a possibility for a third book, and what will it be?" Uh, great question, and yes, there is a possibility for a third book, and in fact, I'm going to tell you what it is. I am working on a third book right now, and it's called How to Grow a Beard. That's right, my third book, the one that I'm in the middle of working on, is a book all about beard grooming tips, info about beards, the science behind beards, the history of the beard, filled with all sorts of of fantastic photography. So that is the book I'm working on now, and I can't wait to finish it and send it to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are going to really enjoy it. Finally, we've got one more caller on the line. Autumn, what would you like to say to the show today? Hey, Oxhorn, this is Autumn. I was just curious if you'd be willing to try different games every week so, you know, it'd be something new for the viewers. Thank you, Autumn. That's a great uh, comment. And every child deserves a chance to survive. No. And unicef. No. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, don't need any ads. UNICEF. Uh, fu- fire and foo on you. Uh, the answer to your question is yeah. I'd love to play different games. I don't have a lot of games installed on this machine, as this is the machine that I use for my show streaming and you know my movie making. But I do hope to play the new. Blizzard game that I just got uh, access to, so I will be sure to let you know when I'm streaming that particular show. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all of your audio questions. If you would like to leave an audio question for me to answer here on the program, go to scotchandsmokerings.com. There's a little button hovering over there on that side, and it says leave an audio message. Click that, and it'll walk you through it. What's that? Huh? Your button is still crooked. How's that? Yeah? Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, that we're all happy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to show off your fan art. You guys have been prolific, as always. So let's start with adding a screen region. Okay, first up is this from Nathaniel Fury, and it says, Bacon is coming. Uh, This is a play on Game of Thrones, I guess, and I like it. It looks pretty good. Uh, In fact, I do think Bacon is coming is a better plot than uh, let's get venereal diseases from a lot of people in medieval times, right? Okay. This is a piece by Autumn, and basically she took a photo of my family during our Christmas photos. We had some photos taken at Christmas, and she did some artistic rendering to it to make it look like a charcoal drawing. And Autumn, that was very sweet of you. Thank you so much for adding that to our to our group page. Next up is this from Greg Hartung, and he's sharing with us uh, an announcement from Blizzard about some of the new character models that they are gonna have. And uh, so here's the Tarn, right? Running of the Bulls, here's the Tarn. And uh, it looks pretty good. I re- what I really like about this is that Blizzard went the extra mile and didn't just release some teaser screenshots, but also went into the making of. They've got video, they've got close-up of the face and the animations. They really went all out to get people excited about the new character models. So that link is up on our Scotch and Smoke Rings community group. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, and then we have this from Nolan, and uh, again, it's another article about the new character models. Uh, Daughter of Argus, and he really goes into all of the planning that went into the female Draenei. It's got some of the, the screenshots of the new character model, and, uh, and just all sorts of great behind-the-scenes information. So thank you for sharing that with us, Nolan. Then we've got our very own Greg Hartung. I didn't know he was doing this, but last week during the show, he was smoking my favorite cigar in the world, an Egg Maduro. Look at this classy chap. He's really playing the part and fitting the bill. He rocks a fedora, don't you think? So uh, kudos to you, Greg Hartung, 
for coming in with the spirit of the show and smoking a gentlemanly while wearing a classy. Then we've got this from Greg Hartung, and he says, I was playing League of Legends one day when I noticed something. The champion Heimerdinger sounds almost like Oxhorn in his arrogant elf voice. Can you hear the similarity, or is it just me? Well, I haven't actually clicked on this yet, so let's play it and see if we can find a similarity. Is the voice d you mean like, I am an arrogant elf? Is that the voice you were talking about? Because that's the voice I do. And, oh, ads, come on. Darn you ads with your dinginess and your bloating blit. There we go, hold on. For great science, for great <laughs> science, I theorize you defeat that, you dirty ape. Okay. Back. You are poorly designed for this. You. All right, all right. I can, I can see that. You are poorly designed for this. Yeah, it's, it's similar to my arrogant elf voice. It's very similar. So thank you for that, good sir. And then we've got this from Ken Axiom, and he saw a photo of grave before shave. Uh, fisticuffs, mustache wax. I actually promote this brand on my beard website. Uh, the Grave Before Shave brand has a nice collection of beard oils that I have up on the website that uh, those interested in beard care products might find interesting. So thank you there, ladies and gentlemen, for your fan art submissions. Sensuna84 says, what do you have against UNICEF? I have nothing against Su UNICEF. I just didn't want the ad. I was trying to talk, and there was an ad going on. That's all. Great. So this is what I'm going to be known for. Lucanator says, every child deserves a chance to survive. No. Oxhorn. Right. Great. Sure, sure. Be the media. And take that out of this program and run that on all the blogs. Oxhorn hates children. You know, okay. Sure. That's... Makes perfect sense. Well, what, what, what else should I expect? <laughs> Baby Gavin. Can you see him? Hey, bud. Can you guys see him? Hey, kiddo. Don't open the door. Oh, no. He's getting old enough to open doors. Don't open the door, buddy. Stay right there and just wave at the people. Oh, shoot. He's getting stronger. Kevin, hi, buddy. <laughs> He's gonna open this door. Okay, your mama needs to take you somewhere. Right, hold on. There we go, nice and close. What? Crooked? What's? I don't understand. What's crooked? Buddy boy. He's really trying to get into this room. I feel like I'm in Jurassic Park, and I'm hiding in the kitchen underneath one of the sinks. Come on, kiddo. Don't scare daddy. The kid is a is a genius. He's trying to open this door. All right, buddy. Where is where is his mama? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Baby, I love you, but daddy's got to work. That's right. This is me working. Hold on a second. I need to take care of him. I'll be right back. One moment. Kiddo. Come on, kiddo. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the break or the pause in that particular thing. I had to. Oh! That! Oh, I had no idea. Here. Let's see if we can fix that. How is that? Is that better? Over there? No, is it right there? There we go. There. See, I just didn't understand what it was that you guys needed. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, to babies with clean diapers, 
and a non-crooked button. Ah, delicious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's let's get the Hearthstone fired up here so that we can play. And I had it running in the background. I'm not sure why it's not up, but I'll get it, I'll get it up there for you guys soon. <laughs> New beards are still beards says uh, ha ha ha. I like your name by the way. New beards are still beards. I have no bigotry against the newly bearded. No, no, no. You have to start someplace. And I applaud all who try. <sighs> okay. So, this is going to be an interesting experiment, ladies and gentlemen. Because as you know, the last time we tried this, by gum, by golly, by G, and by Willikers, didn't Blizzard just make everything crash and go crazy? And I hope it's not the case now. Okay. As you all know, I'm going to do a first come, first serve basis. Alright, hold on here. Here we go. Full screen. And let's move this over here. Yes, I am adept at video podcasts. Okay. Yes. No. Cancelled. As long as I don't crash, I'll be happy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Yes, yes, and work. Okay, I've got my character, and it's loading. Let's see if we can actually get this to work. Oh, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Shwarma says there's a Hearthstone update. There was a Hearthstone update when I turned on my machine today. Okay, here we go. Looks like I'm fighting Eternal. Good game, Eternal. I hope this is uh, hope this is going to be a blast. Uh, good luck to you, and uh, I can't wait to see you on the battlefield. <laughs> Eternal says, "Revenge, finally!" All right. Hopefully, hopefully, I you will not gain your revenge. In fact, I am seeking to destroy you with all of my might. Greetings, my friend. Let's see. Okay. Oh, you. Those are both very good cards, my friend. Sadly. Yeah. Such is life. C'est la vie. Alright, well, so far... So far, Blizzard's update has been very good on their servers. Because I did not crash. Hopefully, this luck will stick with us throughout the remainder of this broadcast. What is that? What? King Merkla. 
Battle cry. Give your opponent two bananas. Ah, oh, you're forcing me. Thank you for the banana. By the way. So my strategy to smoke only quality cigars during the program to treat myself once a week is so far paying dividends because this is a very fine cigar. Are you playing Greg? Asks Shwarma. No, I'm playing Eternal. I am playing Eternal and so far I'm losing. <laughs> Et tva Good. All right, let's see what you can do now. What's with the secrets? Oh, no, oh man. Well, that's what I get. Okay. Things are looking up. Schwarmer says, So er du fortfarnade red hatrans hunter deck. So am I something uh, concerning Hartung's hunter deck? Fortfarnade. Fortfarnade. I don't know what fortfarnade means. I got the rest of it, but I don't know what fortfarnade means. Uh, Silly Sid TV says there's a large lag on the video. This is because the streamer has high cholesterol, right? <laughs> Fedoran from the Planet Bowl hat. <laughs> Guess what? I've got a ban button. There we go. Oh, man. And the world is a better place. <sighs> All right. Where was I? That's right. I was destroying things. Yes, yes, get your secret. Oh! No, no major kudos to you. Yes, you're welcome. There we go. The great Luke Kaus says, Huzzah! Beards and fancy hats. Indeed, good sir. And a huzzah to you as well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do that. <laughs> I know, I know. I feel... Wait, what is that you got? Your hero is immune while attacking. Uh, I want that card. I've got a hunter and I never play him because I do not have that card. 
and I don't know how you got it. You probably paid for it, but I don't know for sure. I refuse to purchase packs in this game. I just refuse. Sensuna84 says, uh, Oxhorn, what was your main back in WoW? Uh, a druid. My main was a druid. I was a feral druid uh, back in the day. I see. You are playing me like a harp. And I don't know what that means. But I imagine it is dreadful. Eternal says that he turned gold a gold card into dust and crafted it. You crafted that bow? I'm impressed. Nicely done. Okay. And luck is on my side. Although I suppose I should have done that beforehand, but... All right, my friend, the odds are stacked against you, even though I have less life. Destroy a random enemy minion! Oh! Oh, my poor guy. Captain Maximov says, I knew you were a feral druid. I called it earlier. <laughs> Nicely done. Well... Go ahead and do that. Oh, my poor, my poor minions. Oh no, not a secret. You and your infernal secrets, oh you hunters. Alright, well let's see what happens. He attacks another random character. Oh shoot! Oh, blast it all! Oh, that hurt. Wait a minute. How? What? How did that happen? He attacked me, but you're not- what? <sighs> that is infuriating. What? I don't know what just happened. Normally when minions attack heroes, they don't take the damage from the weapon that the hero has, so... Okay. This is not cool. Doggone it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by one point. <laughs> Next turn you would have destroyed me. Good game, Eternal. Wow, I barely got through that one with the skin on my teeth. Uh, idioms, but all right, Lucanator One. Let's do this, Lucanator One. Let's see if I can try something else. Let me try a, a priest, just because. Nicely done, ladies and gentlemen. Good job there. Good job there. Yes, yes, everybody in the Twitch TV chat is giving me a play-by-play -play commentary about what I could have done. Um, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. I think I managed to pull out, though. <laughs> but winning by only one point, but still. Good game, Eternal. Good game. It was, it was finally played. 
All right, Lucanator one, good to see you. Let us see what cards did I get? Um, okay. Sorry, I got lost in the music. This is a good one. Okay, goodness. It's been a while since I've played the priest. What's going on here? Alright, fine, 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 fine. Sure, why not? The wisdom of our father's fathers, ladies and gentlemen. When you're having trouble, just whistle and whistle the problems away. A fine sentiment. I like this song. Yes, Luke and Nature, do what you've got to do, and then... Really? What the... I'm... Ah, I see. Okay. okay. Nice move. See if I can get some good smoke rings out here. Well, that was a good one. Ah, interessant. My smoke rings are a little wobbly today. Let's see if I can fix that up. Lucanator, goodness gracious. Take it easy on an old man. Ah, ouch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, well that card's gone. Yette bra, says Exane HS. Mukke bra, yette bra. What, what is this with the things and the big guys and the ogres and stuff? Ah, oh, that's pure rubbish, what that is. Sins be not kosher. Fine. Oh, that was a pretty good one. <laughs> Shwarma says, yes, he is so old. Old, old, old. He's really old, yeah. Well, compared to you, I am but the gleam in my father's eye. So I tip my cap to your age there, Shwarma. What is this? What is he? Ah... Uh... Well, guess I'm gonna have to.
Such is life, such is the way of things. No! No! Not the polymorph! No! Oh, oh! Get up, Lado. Oh. Oh, that was painful, Lucanator. What can one do? Yes, yes, draw your cards. Well, doggone it all and blast it to tarnation in a handbag. Sure, why not? All right, all right, all right. That was the best I could do there. Yes, yes, your magic will tear me apart. I keep hearing this. I am looking forward to action. Michiel Vanenel says, uh, Suddenly, Oxhorn streaming Hearthstone on Twitch. I used to watch all of his vids. Thank you, good sir. I'm glad you used to watch all my vids. If you haven't seen all 56 of them, go to oxhorn.com and you'll be able to watch some of your best childhood memories over and over again. And see some new stuff. That's right, I've produced... Quite a lot since Rafflemau. Lucanator, how are you doing so well? What is your secret? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Jeepers. Well played indeed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Ah. Rubbish and poppycock. What? No. Ouch. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Lucanator, that was a well-deserved victory. I tip my cap to you. Good game, sir, good game. Looks like I'm going to have to go back to my warrior. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Challenges aplenty. And the challenges come, and oh, they just keep up. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. Let's try this again. Yes. Okay, looks like it's Greg. All right, Greg Hartung. If you're playing a hunter, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. Okay, he's playing a shaman. That's good. Sokotox says, hi, nice beard. Well, Sokotox, it's a pleasure to have you in the chat today. Good to see you. Um, now, and, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. So Kotox says, I've never seen an Amish man playing Hearthstone. How exciting. Well, I, I forgive you for calling me Amish. Not that it's an, an insult or anything, but uh, pro tip, Amish people don't have mustaches. That's right. If you Google Amish beard, you're going to see a bunch of very handsome men with an assortment of beard styles sans the mustache. So therefore, I cannot be Amish. I have a mustache. I must therefore be something else. Uh, my turn? Okay. 
And I'm going to pass. Back to you, Greg. All right, if you... You better not have King Crush equipped this time, because that would give me very sad feelings in many places. No King Crush for you. <laughs> the the great Luke House says, and clearly that's the biggest issue with an Amish on the computer. True, there is that. The Amish tech, tech tend not to be terribly fond of a little thing called technology. But we're splitting hairs here. Well. Okay. Fleur de Lols, warning, this is a family-friendly chat. Just letting everybody know beforehand. We need not know what may or may not be in the pockets of one's trousers. Just saying. Imagine Justin says, may we get a tip of the glass and a drink, Oxhorn. Indeed. The ice is melting, my scotch is duly cooled. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, and bottoms up. Hmm. Pleasant and peaty. Okay, my turn. All right, Greg. Time to regret your very existence. I will, and maybe now. There's a possibility of the thing in the back. That's what happens. Yes. You are listening to Radio Disney. Great. Looking good. Okay. Well, Epic Runt says, hello, Mr. Oxhorn. Pleasure to see you again, Epic Runt. Good to have you back. Sokotox says, hello, fine sir. Can you twerk bottoms up? Well, by bottoms up, I am, of course, referring to the bottom of the glass being tipped up so that one can imbibe the luscious fluid within. In terms of twerking, there are a lot of twerks that I know. But they tend not to be pleasant people, which is, of course, why they're called twerks. Which means teenage jerk. Twerk. Uh, I try not to associate with as many twerks as possible. Alright, Greg, you are arming up with a lot of taunts. Why? Okay. Mm Okay, I had to do a lot of processing there. Yes, my, the way my internal CPU works is the more processing this melon of mine has to do, the less verbiage comes out of this orifice here. So, <clears throat> you'll have to accuse... Forgive me if I do not talk a lot when I'm thinking. <laughs> okay... Gnomies says, where do you get your music? Right now I'm listening to a free online radio station called Radio Dismuke. D-I-S-M-U-K-E. 
I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just really like their music, and so I listen to it on the fun program. Ends the table's turn. I am officially ahead by one point. Soko Talk says, what are you smoking? Today I am smoking a Perdobo Habana. It's a very fine cigar made from Cuban seed tobacco. It's not made in Cuba. It's just made from tobacco seeds that were, uh, that came from Cuban to uh, tobacco trees, leaves, Cuban tobacco plants. Right. What what happened? Um, thank you, good sir. Sugar Falcon says, can you play some Miley Cyrus, please? Alas, this room does not have enough wrecking balls to uh, allow me to play that sort of music. Were this a construction site, I might consider it, but we are gentlemen of refinement and instead are focusing on more classy things. Single malt or blended, asks Truly Outrageous. I'm having some Dewar's White Label, and I believe this is, uh, yes, it's a blended Scotch whiskey. Normally I prefer single malt, as many do, but I actually really like Dewar's. Uh, the Dewar's White Label is a nice mid-shelf bottle, and it's pretty good for a blended. Whoa, what is this? Purple Earth Elemental Taunt Overload Load 3. What? Wow. Oh. Doggone it. Well, that's going to hurt. Let's see, eight, four, five, six, seven. Or, zip, blip, blip. Gotta do it. All right, no King Crush. No Onyxias. None of that nonsense. All right, so we've got a few people. Ek, ek, whoa, that's a naughty name. I might have to ban you for that. Anyway, uh, people are asking me to take off the hat, and look, sorry ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you mean. I am not wearing a hat. This is actually my head. I just grow this out of my scalp. I realize it looks funny, but that's just the reality. Ouch! All right, Greg, why do you have so many cards? I see. I have a choice. What will it be? Hmm. I could do that and do that, but if I were to do that, then that and that would happen. I could, incidentally, do that and that, but if I did that, then that would happen. 
Neither of which are opportunities I would like. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hope for the best. Here's hoping for the best. <laughs> Asim Zik 6 says, Keck. And I hope that's actually a reference to my novel, The Tale of Thorn Hastings. For there is a character in my novel that says, What? What is that? What did you just do with your orange cards and the wind fury? Al Akur, the Wind Lord, with... Oh, man. This is an unfortunate situation, ladies and gentlemen. I appear to be at a disadvantage. He's got all these guys with the Wind Fury and the shield taunts and all that nonsense. So, I am at your mercy, Greg. Bury me in a six-foot grave if you must. Gnomi says, can you paste the URL to that radio station? I would, but I'm kind of busy. It's just Radio Dismuke. Use the Google machine. It's that website with the G-O-O -O and the L-E thing. And then type in Radio Dismuke, and you will find what it is I'm listening to. And I'm dead. There I am. All right. Nicely done, Greg. Nicely done. You are victorious again. Sorry, I, I don't know what happened. It kind of froze up for a minute there. Ah. Appreciative modern audience. You can help us find that audience. Why not email your friends right now? Let them know about the wonderful music you're enjoying right here on Radio Dismute. There we go. Victory to Greg McLovin Hartung. Yes, yes, yes. I hope you were smoking an Egg McDuro. Because you deserve it. Oh, Victor. Captain Maximov, good to play with you today. Chocobo Swarm says, does he still do smoke ships? Indeed I do, good to see you Chocobo Swarm, and I will do a smoke, sh a smoke ship at the end of the program. Uh, but right now, I've got a few more people to defeat with the mightiness of my might. My smoke rings are not turning out well today. Greg is just relishing his victory. Yes, yes, relish that victory, Greg. Do a lap. Do a victory lap. All right, Captain Maximov, how can we do this? Shwarma says, oh, I love the huge PayPal donate button over on Twitch, Ox. Thank you, Shwarma. I encourage everybody to make ample use of that button by clicking it a whole bunch and giving me money. I won't turn it down, I promise you. That's just the nature of who I am. What can I say? Uh... Okay, looking good. All right, Captain Maximov. Your move. Space Coon says, uh, <clears throat> Dear sir, as a fellow smoking enthusiast, I would ask if you have ever partaken of the Afghani Kush, a blend or, uh, blend or the 
cr uh, the Konic Bubonic, a very popular choice in my village. Um, are you talking about pipe tobacco? If so, I am not familiar with those. We have completely different blends of pipe tobacco here in Seattle, where I live. So I sadly uh, don't know what those are, but they sound very interesting. And I would certainly love to check it out. Sugar Falcon says, Hello, Scotch and Smoke Rings. My name is Yakov. And I'm from Serbia. Every day I walk 17 hours in snow and bad weather to the nearest Magic Apple Box to watch your stream. I want to say thank you for the stream and letting us who are in po who are poor in the world and can't grow many potatoes to have a coin to watch and play cool games. Sorry for not proper English. Much love. Yakov Speshlov, age 11. I am convinced you are not trolling, so I am so glad that you are here, Yakov. It's a pleasure to have you here, and uh, I hope that you can enjoy this stream and many others. Majin Jitsen says, Oxhorn, when will you be able to smoke pipes again like the like in the previous shows? Well, I've got my pipe right here, and I could certainly fire it up uh, at almost any time, but the shows are a special occasion, so I decided to just smoke a gentlemanly cigar during these occasions. You know what I think it is? It's my mustache. My mustache has grown so long again that it is destroying my smoke rings as they exit my mouth. Let me try holding it back and see if my smoke rings improve. Look at those beauties. Eric Furious says I came for the smoke rings. Well, I hope not to disappoint. Captain Maximov. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. I am sorry. I bet you didn't mean to do that. I understand. Furballs says, what do you do for a living? I am in marketing. What? What is that? Gramosh Hellscream, charge and rage plus six attack. Oh, really?
Well, I did that one wrong. Oh well, say lovey. All right, Captain Maximov, you're starting to get scary. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, one more after this. Oud says you could have won. Yeah, I know. I know, I know. I messed up. I know, I should have done it. I totally messed up. I, I believe it. My bad. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Dispute. I would like to invite you to tune in for the spring 2014 Ox Vintage Records broadcast, hosted by Kurt Knox at 78 rpmcom Kurt runs the world's largest and most prestigious auction house on the very vintage 78 rpm Oh, Captain Maximov, this is starting to look painful. Ouch! And there we go. Congratulations to you, good sir. One more game, and then I will end with a smoke ship, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, I can't click. I can't click yes fast enough. Oh, man. Good game, Captain Maximov. Good game. All right. Looks like we're getting into this one. Shwarma says, may I give out your real ID? Yes, of course. Feel free. All right, Majin Justin, let us see what you can do. That was a good one. Flew off the screen too quickly, though. Shiut says, Wait, Oxhorn, you're in the Private Heroes Alpha. I, I am. I don't have access to it, but I have been accepted. I'm waiting to get access, and then we will play. All right, imagine Justin.
Good one. <laughs> Shwarma says, you're welcome. How did I end up being the publicist again over here? Because you're just such a nice guy. Oh, man. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Nicely played. Shwarma says, you know you're getting the distracted blast the lens with a smoke ring down pretty well. Yeah. Let's see if I can do a perfect ring again. Here's some good ones. All right, imagine, Justin. Salva98 Acidif says, sup, man. Sup, my friend. Pleasure to have you here. This one's going okay so far. <laughs> Greg of the Great Gale, nice, says, hey, that's the first time I've seen the pirate captain become useful. I, I like having a lot of pirates in my warrior deck. Oh, and a concession. Well, imagine, Justin, it was a worthy battle. Uh, thank you very much for playing. And it's that time, ladies and gentlemen, smoke ship time. For those who don't know, at the end of every episode, I blow a smoke ship into existence based upon your suggestions. So, what would you like to see today? Smoke Zeppelin? Smoke Submarine? Let me know. Yeah, 
Well, there you go. A bonus. Two sneezes. Captain Maximov says, Oxhorn, Captain Maximov, and Lady Death. Whoa, the, the, hold on a second. Whoa, they're flying off the screen. Riding in the bacon boat of doom, laughing at the myth of clogged arteries, known that it is a hippie myth conjured up by those who are not manly enough to handle the responsibility of bacon and scotch. Together, they secretly planted bacon trees in hippie backyards to encourage them in the ways of gentlemanly vikingness. After their heroic adventure, they ride off into the sunset, laughing with much mirth. Sensana84 says, Oxhorn, the mighty bacon pirate, on the seas aboard his beautiful bacon barge, bargaining with barnacled bacon buccaneers for billions and billions of bacon bits and baskets of British bacon bullion. Barbarians balk at the bravery of the bandit baconeer Oxhorn. I think I am in love with this particular smoke ship. All of that alliteration, in one little paragraph, you are a writing savant. William Moore says Oxhorn and Thunk speeding along in rocket-powered mine carts, filled with bacon dodging the swords and arrows of the evil meat-stealing zombie ninja ninjas, racing to escape the ninja's bacon volcano lair before it erupts with an explosion, bacon grease. Meanwhile, Oxhorn, Mortus, and Lacey fly about around at the top of the volcano, ready to grab Ox and Thunk so they can return all of the stolen bacon to hungry horde orphans. <laughs> Nicely done. Shiut says Oxhorn riding a bacon shredder, fighting Tofu Naga, while Staghorn and Mortus siege Darnassus and destroy Tofu turrets with bacon-powered weapons while Greg summons Al Alakir to assist the attack. Very good. Mr. Eightball says, In an alternate universe on an egg Maduro-shaped smoke ship, Daniel, Brian, Eric, Eric Young, Green Day, Eminem, Kenny, Chesney, Politicians, Autumn, Nova, Ninja of WoW, and Mr. Eightball's in-laws adopt the power of the beard to blast a bacon-scented smoke ring on anti-class corporation leaders to, to restore gentlemanliness to all, all caused due to Gavin not wearing a diaper. <laughs> You guys are good. You guys are getting really good at this. RDHK13 says, Ox, I fell in love with your videos long ago. I'm glad you're still around and doing well. Pleasure to have you here, my friend, and thank you very much. Uh, all right. Well, you all had amazing smoke ships today. Shwarma says, Sincerely sailing the skies, the siblings of Oxhorn celebrate their seasoned siblings' bearded greatness with bacon and billions of barrels of birchwood scotch. Again with the alliteration. I gotta love it. Noxicarna says, I still want to smoke Tardis as he is running from bacon, stealing OODs so that the bacon can be preserved to fight the darkness that is vegetarianism. Oh, veganism. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done. All right. Well, uh, send Sauna 84. I just was really tickled by yours. So here we go. Smoke ship time. Pay attention. If you blink for a moment, the sh the sh uh, you will miss the ship. So here we go. Whoa! Gosh, I hope you didn't blink. If you did, you missed it. For the briefest of moments before your very eyes was Oxhorn, the mighty bacon pirate on the seas aboard his beautiful bacon barge, bargaining with barnacled bacon buccaneers for billions and billions of bacon bis bits and baskets of British bacon bullion. Barbarians balk at the bravery of the bandit baconeer known as Oxford. Nicely done there, Sensana. And nicely done, every one of you. Great smoke ships. Great smoke ships. I'm, I'm happy to summon forth such artistry from my very jaws. Only happens once a week, anywhere on Earth. And you found it, right here, on Scotch and Smoke Rings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 246, or 45, I don't know. Um, but uh, tune in next week, same Ox time, same Ox channel, for the next episode, which might be 246 or 247, depending on my math at the time. And uh, as we always say here at scotchandsmokerings.com, be sure, my friends, that you stay classy.
One final sip. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Bottoms up.